Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks, and this is a wrap for like a hood of a motorcycle, three-wheel motorcycle. And you can see it's been power clip. I do not like power clip. But I went in and took all the power clipping out. And and this is his he wants to have a bleed area that the um, it's gonna cut out of a vinyl cutter, so the vinyl cutter cuts and has a little bit of extra in case the knife cuts off. And there's no, evidently it's gonna print it and the vinyl is white maybe, and he doesn't want any white showing. Well, I'm gonna nudge some things out of the way. And if you look, I'm gonna, I'm trying to get some pieces that are too close together away from each other. Like that one probably go over there for a second. And then that one can go up for a second. And then we need to contour. Now, you, I could have contoured them all at the same time. But if you do that and they start touching, uh, they're going to uh, go uh, catawampus. So let's go contour. We're going to contour 0 0.05. Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to turn everything red. Red hairline. So we'll know that when we contour in black, it'll be black. So I'm gonna take this first piece, contour in black. I'm gonna take this piece, contour in black. What I'm doing is I'm making a bleed line on the outside, just making the wrap a little bit bigger. I'm hoping I'm understanding the question. Now like this one actually does it on the inside and the outside and uh, wherever you're gonna be cutting. So I'm just doing all the black, all the reds, I mean, turning them to a black contour. I think I've got them all. And now just return everything. And I'm going to show you here in just a second what I meant by too close. Uh, some of these pieces are so close they would touch. And I don't know when you wrap, you know, evidently you're going to cut these out anyway. That's probably too close. You know, uh, Oh, I missed one piece that I didn't contour. Grab it, contour, move it up. Now, remember that I haven't broke the contour apart yet. So we're going to select it all and go up to object and break the 18 objects apart. Now, it's easier to select the inside contour than the outside contour because you can just put a you know, just click on it and we're just going to take away the inside contour, which is the, the original item. And now we have, um, put that back. Now we have an item that's a little bit bigger and you can kind of see that this thing is a 20 point or 30.611 by 30.4. So it's, you know, this was 30.611 on the little bit bigger one. So, if that works, you know, in your wrap, as long as, you know, if I would have contoured it well like that, uh, these pieces wouldn't work. So you're going to probably have to physically move. You know, I don't know in this world of vinyl wrapping, you know, if, if you have to have it exactly, you know, are you going to cut these pieces out? They're going to be cut out individually. Do they have, but they have to be mimicking so then what you can do is go ahead and group this together, control G. Let's go ahead and turn it all black like the original drawing. And then let's put, and I, the bounty box is huge, but I, I tried to correct that. You see how big the bounty box is, but it's not really, the box itself isn't that big. Well, we could eliminate some of it with the crop tool and just get the color. But then again, I don't know. And now the bounty box isn't quite as big, but it looks big. Now let's just, so let's group this together, make sure we grouped it together. We did. So now let's put in our drawing and let's put this to the back of the page. I take it the black part in order back of page. And the guy who drew this is probably saying, well, that doesn't look, that's not what I had, but it doesn't matter. So now what you can do is nudge these out of the way and grab both of them. 
I don't think I got them both because the bounding box is so big. Go to object, power clip, place inside frame, and then you can play with it, edit it. Now, that is nice about power clipping, you move it around. But once you're happy with it, and then each one of these pieces should be um, a little bit bigger than the other one on that contour. And then uh, there's your individual pieces. Anyway, I, I truly hope that's what he was asking, to give it a little bit of bleed. Anyway, I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.